I remember how the mayor bragged about it, even though it would completely bypass our town. The freeway became the occupation force's makeshift runway, and the unfinished tunnels their bunkers. This was their base. They were the elite flight squadron chosen to protect the cannon. Ironically, the same cannon that was created to shoot down the asteroids became a catalyst to the war. But when the Allied attacks no longer came, the squadron was assigned to longer range missions that took the most of the battlefields. I thought of the words I would use to confront him and bided my time. Although I harbored these feelings within me, I could never get close to him. His wingman was always by his side. Despite having a gentle demeanor, I could tell that the wingman would never allow danger to get near Yellow 13, even on land. The pillar of their group, 13, exuded an air of invincibility. He always chose to fly a five-plane formation. He was a man who prided himself not on his kill record, but on his record of never losing a squadron member. It's difficult for me to describe just how good Yellow 13's flying was, but I witnessed it once from the ground. The lead plane of the five-plane formation should have turned the same arc with the same timing as the others, yet only his plane drew sharp contrails. His heart felt compassion towards the weaker enemies he downed. Someday, if an eagle appeared and challenged the limits of his skills in a fight, he would bear no resentment about being shot down. He said this himself. And so as time passed, I found the goodness of a home in their company. Leaving them was no longer an option for me now. Okay. Invincible fleet. Not anymore. We will launch a surprise attack on the Gator fleet while it lies immobilized in the Earth Harbor. This large-scale airstrike will be the largest and the most strategic operation since the transfer to each to one point. You may need to resupply along the way because this operation will be long in duration. Remember, it is imperative that you complete the mission objective and return to the base safely. So basically, same thing as before, same thing as right now. First targets, hang on. All you gotta do is take down, is take down the hugest fucking fleet you've ever seen in your life. With my range? Hmm. Bought myself two nice aircrafts. I could either use this one, which is definitely a good strike aircraft, but no defense. But I mean, no speed. It's it's just fucking slow. It's not possible. I could use that, but I think I'll go with it. It's already got large bombs anyway. You see, it's really, really slow, so it's not very adapted to this kind of mission. But I don't give. Initiate attack. All aircraft clear to engage any and all targets. Well, this is supposed to be like, the best fucking strike aircraft in the world. Got this huge ass gun attached to it, which 
makes your AC-130 minigun look like crap. to get 3,000 points. It's about as easy as before. Ship missiles, they're a bit better, a bit, a little bit more dangerous than normal missiles. So yeah, just be careful. It's not that hard. For example, when attacking a ship, either drop the bomb to go faster, or aim for the guns first. Ouch. That's a first. Bang. Oh, a carrier. I love carriers. They mean you so many fucking points. I'll go over supply right now. And I'll be back for you. Takeoffs, have you? And every time you land, you gotta take off, right? Yeah. Mobius 
one, you are cleared for takeoff. Thank you. The, the thing takes off by itself. Every aircraft in the game just takes off by itself. Altitude restrictions cancelled. Return to your mission, Mobius One. Get back in there. Oh, a bridge. I want to go to the bridge. I want to see the bridge. Stupid. This plane is not maneuverable enough. Fuck me. <laughs> 